Okay, uh, so this is, I guess, the fourth video I'm going to be putting on YouTube, but this one's specific to the uh, transmission adapter plate for the Chevy S10 VR6 Turbo. Um, I get asked a lot of questions about how I adapted the transmission to the engine, how I mounted it, uh, and what clutch flywheel pressure plate setup. Does it use a stock 350Z starter? Does it use a Volkswagen starter? Um, so I get asked a lot of those questions, so I figured this should probably be the next video that I make, uh, and that way I can help some people out um, in regards to, to mounting everything up, how I made it together, who to go to, where to go to, what exactly I did. Um, so yeah, so I figured I'd start there. So the uh, transmission is a six-speed 350Z. Um, I believe it's from like a, a 2004 to 2007 or 2003 to 2007, somewhere in there. There's two actual two variations of the, the 350Z six-speed. One apparently has uh, a lot of synchronizer issues, uh, and the other one is a little bit more robust. Um, mine is the earlier version, so it does have the synchro issues. I have not had any issues with my tranny since I've had it. Uh, it is a used tranny I got off of eBay. I think it was like $700 shipped, something like that. Um, but all in all, it's been pretty good. So yeah, it's a 350Z, six-speed, manual transmission. Uh, it's mated to, with an adapter plate. Um, and the uh, clutch is a South Bend. Uh, it's, I think they're endurance stage two. It's for like 500 foot-pounds of torque, something of that nature. Um, but uh, yeah, stock, or it's a 350Z clutch, uh, it's a 350Z flywheel. Um, some guys actually take the 350Z flywheel, plug all the holes for the bolts, weld it, and then re-drill it. I personally didn't want to go that route. Um, I prefer just the stock steel flywheel um, that I knew wasn't drilled or uh, plugged or welded. Um, so I reached out to a company uh, in the UK because nobody in the US actually wanted to make one for me. Um, so this company in the, in the UK, I believe it's TTV Racing, uh, this guy Ben Crisp that I was in email correspondence with, um, they basically made me a, three, a steel 350Z flywheel, the envelope uh, in engineering terms is 350Z, the bolt pattern that they drilled in was the VR6. Um, so I didn't have to plug and weld, I didn't have any fitment issues, uh, basically just bolted right on just like it was a VR6 flywheel. Um, so that's how I how well the drivetrain goes for well the engine power goes to the the input shaft of the transmission so everything from the 350Z slides into the clutch pressure plate disc uh, and uh, flywheel um, and then the adaption of the transmission to the engine uh, is done via a steel it looks like it was water jet or laser cut uh, flange um, uh, that I had that I bought from a guy uh, named Ed. He did a 350Z VR6 swap, and he, I know he sold a bunch of the, the adapter plates uh, probably a couple years ago now. Um, but there's a gentleman, Trevor, that's on uh, Instagram. I think his Instagram is Twisted VR6. He's got a 240SX that he now sells the adapter plates. Um, so if anybody's really looking for an adapter plate, he's the guy to reach out to. I know he does them in batches. Um, I've had some people reach out to me before, so I figured I would just talk about that. Um, as far as the starter goes, it's a 350Z starter, uh, 350Z slave cylinder. Um, so basically everything transmission drivetrain wise post the engine is, uh, is 350Z. Um, as far as the way that it's mounted in the truck, uh, I had to use or build a cross member for the, the rear of the engine or the rear of the transmission. Um, and then as far as the uh, that's the other thing I get asked. Um, <clears throat> as far as the uh, starter clearing the frame, the way that the engine's mounted and the transmission's mounted in the truck, um, I actually had to notch the frame out for the starter, otherwise the starter would have hit the, the frame of the truck. Um, but that was really the only major thing, I guess, besides the floor. So based on what I did with the truck, I built a custom oil pan rather than run a stock Volkswagen VR6 pan. Um, in the S10s, the subframe cross member is welded all together, um, so there's no removing that or a tubular structure. I could have created one, I probably should have done that in, the, in hindsight. Um, 
but instead <clears throat> I built a, a, an oil pan which I call the bat wing. It's, it has a big uh, well in the back end of it. Um, it holds seven quarts uh, of oil and the dipstick works uh, and I had to make a custom oil tube which I'll talk about probably in another video. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I had to use that. I built a, a steel pan and uh, adapted it so that the engine sat in there. I didn't, have, I didn't use a stock Volkswagen pan. Um, with that being said, the engine, the way that it's oriented, kind of sits at like a three degree angle. Um, and with the VR6 in a GTI, it kind of sits at a different angle, different position. Um, so when you mount it in the S10, you have to make sure that you get it in that angle um, so that the transmission is oriented in the right orientation in the truck. Um, and because the 350Z tranny <clears throat> is so big in the back end, um, I had to cut basically the entire subfloor out of the truck and re-weld, reconstruct something. Um, fortunately, uh, I was able to use a 240SX uh, sub or floor, so I was able to uh, use the tunnel and things and weld all that in and it, and it fit pretty nicely. I just had to do some custom sheet metal work really in the back end uh, and weld it all together. Um, but all in all, that's essentially how I got the transmission adapted to the engine how it functions, drives, engages, um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's, that should answer a lot of the questions that I get, at least for the adapter plate, um, and you know, uh, so in the, in the next couple videos I'll probably talk about uh, just the turbo stuff, the wiring, because that's another thing I get asked, how'd you do all the wiring, how'd you integrate it into the S10, what did you use, did you use the Volkswagen wiring, did you use an S10 wire, did you make a custom harness? Um, so you can do really whatever you like, but for me, I use the, the Volkswagen stuff and the S10 stuff. Um, but uh, I'll make another video on that because that's another thing that I get asked a lot about. Um, but this is primarily the, the, the big question that I always get asked. How did you adapt it? How does it work? What did you use? Did you use a starter flywheel? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so hopefully this clears a lot of things up and answers a lot of questions. Um, and I'll probably post some, some uh, still shots of different, like the flywheel, the clutch, uh, the adapter playing things in within the video um, but uh, yeah so if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments or uh, send me an email and I'll get back to you thanks see ya